Step one for a $4.5 billion aid package. The U.S. House of Representatives passed a bill that would provide funds to feed and care for migrants, three billion of which would be allocated to help unaccompanied migrant children detained by border security. But the proposed legislation now faces an uphill battle to get through the Senate. And even if it does, Donald Trump is likely to veto the bill, which also sets standards for care. The measure passed largely on partisan lines, 230 to 195. And only after progressive Democrats were reassured by their leadership that the funds would not be used to enforce border security. It is, for many, of the utmost urgency. There are children who are without food. They are without medicine. They are without water. They are without soap. They are without diapers. They are without toothpaste. Shame on us. The push for funding comes after reports that some 300 children were being held without their families and in despicable conditions in a winterless facility in Clint, Texas. Many were kept there for weeks without adequate food, shelter and water. Outrage over their treatment has pushed legislators to act, and it's also prompted the head of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection to resign. It's expected he'll be replaced by a hardliner, the head of Immigration Enforcement, or ICE. Donald Trump said existing legislation and not his policies are to blame for the inhumane treatment. The asylum rules and laws are so bad that our Border Patrol people, who are so incredible, aren't allowed to do their jobs. With a surge of migrants at the border and in overcrowded, underfunded facilities, at least six children have died since September.